YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Nick from NickSaysGo.com. I appreciate you joining me for another video. But if you're new, welcome to the channel, man. I talk about everything from style, grooming, home decor, and more. And today, we're gonna talk about some of that skincare. If you know anything about me, you know I always preach the importance of, of, of proper grooming and taking care of yourself and looking good and feeling good. And uh, today is no different. I just woke up. I'm literally like in my bathroom right now. I just set the camera equipment up. I haven't done anything <laughs> for myself today yet. Um, we're gonna keep it as authentic as possible, as natural as possible. And I, I wanna walk y'all through how I get ready in the morning. Now, keep in mind, some of this will be give or take depending on the day, but I'm pretty much gonna roll through everything for my grooming, my skincare, and just how I prep myself before I get moving for the day. Every product I'm gonna use in this video, uh, I'm going to link down in the description so you can keep it for your reference. You can check it out as you want. Uh, I'm also gonna link my five-step skincare routine video down there as well so you can keep that for your reference too. But to get started, we're gonna wash our face. That's the basis of any skincare routine. Clean your face just from overnight, just the oils, the pillowcase, just whatever. You just get a fresh, clean slate we're gonna wash our face. So for me today, and what I usually use is Pharmacy Clean B. This is normally what I use right here. Does not fail me, does not let me down. Um, very gentle and just kind of preps my face for everything I'm about to do. So let me show you how we do that. First thing I wet my face. Really just get my face nice and wet. With this cleanser here, mm, two or three pumps, depending on how I'm feeling. If it's in the morning, really just two pumps. If I'm wiping off a bunch of sunscreen and whatnot, then maybe I'll go three pumps. So, I just get it all in my face. <laughs> I told you we're keeping this natural and live and authentic. <laughs> Literally, I just take my fingers. I don't use any special tools. Sorry, I keep looking over at the screen. I gotta make sure that, uh, yeah. <laughs> make sure this looks good. But basically, yeah, I just rub the cleanser in my face. I don't really time it, but just make sure that you're doing it for a while, man. Super gentle. Clean your face off. One of my biggest problem spots is definitely like the size of my nose. I really gotta make sure I hit the size of my nose right there. I get a lot of like dirt and oil and whatnot on that side. So once I clean my face, let's rinse it off. I just take some water, splash it, let's rinse it off. Don't want to be too rough. I just do like a nice little pat dry. Don't start scrubbing your face to dry it off. Just get a little, get a little pat dry. <laughs> Once you pat dry that, you're good to go for the next step. So following my same five step skincare routine, next step on the list, you want to tone your face. You want to use a toner, right? I have a couple different toners I use. Uh, one of my old favorites is by Ole Henriksen. This is the Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. I love this because a lot of products talk about keeping even tone on your face and clearing your face up from dark spots and whatnot. And this one, I really do swear by. So, you know, if I've ever like cut my face or pimples that heal dark or just any kind of dark spots, this really helps kind of clear that up. So what I do with this too, super simple. I take it, I literally splash a little bit in my hand, rub it together and kind of just pat it into my face, right? Super gentle. You don't want to rub your face too hard, man. Super gentle. Some people use cotton swabs, some people use cotton pads. 
Man, I like to just get my product in my hand and put it on my face. I'm not an expert, but I feel like the cotton pads soak up too much of the product. And I'd rather just put it straight on my face. All right, so once it's in, just make sure it's dry. Step number two is done. Following the same five-step routine, you wanna use a serum on your face next, right? So serums provide a lot of extra hydration, a lot of extra moisture, just give you a nice hydrated, glowy look before you actually put your moisturizer on. So I use a lot of CBD serums. Um, I mean, there's so many out there. I'll link a few down that you know I've used and you can see in my previous videos and blog posts, other ones that I've used as well. But I use a CBD serum and with the serum, I take a couple drops. I'm almost out of this one, I gotta replace it. But I take a couple drops in my hand, same process, nothing new, rub it together. Same thing, kind of just gently get it into my face. I don't use any special tools. And you can see already, before I even put the moisturizer on, my skin is looking healthy. I don't look dry. That's it. I get the serum in my face. We look all right so far, we look all right. We're almost done. We're gonna keep it rolling. So we cleansed our face, washed our face already. We put a toner on already. We put a serum on. What's next? The moisturizer, right? Right now, I am using Pharmacy Daily Greens. Absolutely one of my favorites here. Pharmacy Daily Greens. That is a bright light. <laughs> Pharmacy Daily Greens. Same thing here, nothing fancy. If you watch other videos, People put on their products all different types of ways. I like to just keep mine simple. I take a little fingertip amount, spread it onto my hands, and then spread it onto my face. Super gentle. You're not trying to rip your face off. That's it. You're not trying to rip your face off. Look at that, hydrated, moisturized, looking good, feeling good already, right? So once you get the moisturizer in, it's soaked into your skin. Very last step I'm gonna do for my actual face, and to me, probably the most important step is some kind of sunscreen. Uh, I swear by Black Girl Sunscreen, SPF 30 because I'm gonna tell you a secret, especially for my black, my black brothers and sisters out there, I'm gonna tell you a secret. Every brand of skincare promises that it's made for every skin tone or that it soaks into every skin tone and it doesn't leave a white cast, but they do. <laughs> if you don't get a good sunscreen that's actually been tested on our skin for real, for real, you're gonna end up looking like Casper the Ghost, right? The sunscreen is not, it's not gonna blend into your skin properly. It's not gonna melt away like this one does. You're gonna have like a purple white kind of cast on your face. It's just, it's not gonna look good. So uh, Black Girl Sunscreen for me is what I use. It blends in, gives me a nice little glow, protects me from the sun. And yeah, you can see my face Looks nice and healthy. I'm not too shiny, I'm not too greasy. Just look good, yeah, there we go. So the face, the face is done. After the face, I go to my hair. I keep the same hairstyle all the time. I wear a fresh fade. My hair is pretty thick on top. If you know anything about haircuts, my brothers, I usually keep like a two on top, like a two, a two with the grain on top. Skin fade on the side, but to keep my waves nice and healthy, to keep my scalp from being dry, this is what I do every morning. Or if I'm about to step out the house, I might do it again. So first thing first, 
I wet my hair. Keep it nice and simple. I just wet my hair up. Boom. I moisturize my hair every single day. Um, I'm currently using Frederick Benjamin Daily Hydrator. And like I said, I'll link all this stuff down below, but I use Frederick Benjamin Daily Hydrator. It's pretty light. It's not too greasy, not too thick. It doesn't get built up and caked up all in your hair. I take about a quarter size amount. I just scramble it into my hair. Yeah, just get it all in my hair. If you don't have a good wave brush, where is this from? This is from a company called Smooth Styles. I forgot I forgot where I got this from. Yeah, Smooth Styles. So if I can find a link, which I'm sure I will, I'll link this down below too. But get you a nice, get you a nice wave brush. I brush out from all different directions from my crown, from the middle of my head. Just make sure I brush. all of the moisturizer into my hair. All right. So here, <laughs> here's the secret. Here's the secret, right? Here's the secret. Oh, look at that. We already, whew. we already going crazy on them. All right, but here's the secret though. Here's the secret. I use a little bit of pomade, right? So growing up, my black man, y'all will understand. Growing up, we used to use the super heavy, you know, wave grease, sporting waves, 360 waves, dukes, all of that, right? I'm off of that. I don't, some people still use it, I'm off that. I need something that's not gonna build up in my brush, something that's not gonna build up in my hair no more. So, back to Frederick Benjamin, I use their sleep water pomade. It's super light, but I'm gonna tell you this, it's just enough that it still does keep your hair down. Like I said, I normally wear a two, sometimes a two and a half with my hair, which is kind of thick. So I just take another little, maybe like a dime or quarter size amount of the pomade, put it in my hair, real gentle. I brush my hair again. Not as much as before, but just to Spread that palm made out better than I can with my, my hands. All right. Spread the palm made out. You gotta put the do-rag on. <laughs> so next step is the do-rag. Again, 360 wave YouTube community. Do not get mad at me. There's a million ways to put on a do-rag. This is the way I put my do-rag on. You don't want it super tight. You don't want the lines in your forehead. You don't want to get a headache. But put a do-rag on. Lock that all in. You're good to go. So I call this the marinating process, right? You gotta let it, gotta let it marinate, gotta let it cook, let it sit. But we're good. Face is done. I got my sunscreen on. It's all cleansed, moisturized. My hair is moisturized. I got the pomade in. I got my do-rag on. Last thing I do before I step out the crib for the day, get myself ready, do a little bit of beer maintenance. Um, I just got a haircut yesterday, so I'm pretty lined up. I don't really need to do anything with the line, but I was just sleeping all on this. I'm a little raggedy. So again, I'm gonna wash it, style it up, and then we out of here. So first thing I do with the beard, I just wet it up. Just get the beard nice and wet. I wash my beard every single day. Brothers, wash your beard every day, right? You just wanna get all the dirt, the grime, the dust, the everything out your beard from the day. I use EBO Beard Wash. If you know me, you know I've been talking about this forever. I always use EBO Beard Wash, right? Um, this is a black owned brother based out of DC. Super cool cat, 
definitely, definitely, definitely recommend checking out his products. Um, I use his beard wash and his beard butter, and that's what we're gonna use today. So take a little bit of the beard wash in my, in my hands, just like I'm shampooing my hair, shampooing my beard, all right? Get the stash. And just wash all the junk out. Just wash all the junk out your beard. And I know I haven't been anywhere yet today. I know I just got up, but I like to wash my beard still every morning and every night. At night time to get all the gunk out. And then in the morning, it just helps. I feel like it helps when I put the beard butter in for my beard to be a little bit wet and for it to just be like 100% clean. Um, that's what I do. I just like to start everything from a nice clean slate. So the beard is washed, it's damp. I also go back to EBO beard butter again. This is the OMG scent, which if I remember, I think it's like pomegranate scent, but I use the OMG scent right now. Just take about a fingertip amount. Don't forget the mustache. And just get it all in your beard. Right? Not bad get a wooden comb um have a bunch of these i'll put some links down as well get yourself a nice wooden comb i keep it on me at all times especially nowadays wearing a mask everywhere my mask like mats my beard down so i keep it on me in my pocket i can always fix my beard up but yeah get you a little comb through All right, let's hit all the angles. Good. Beard is moisturized. Shiny, healthy, all of that. Do not forget the stash. Yeah. Beard is right, the beard is right. That's it, really, that is it. That is how I get ready in the morning. My face is done, my beard is done. My hair is still cooking. Normally I'll let this sit on my head until it's time to leave. But, you know, we'll see what it looks like after five minutes. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like after five minutes. Oh yeah, we good, 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 we good. I'm ready to step out for the day. This is my this is my grooming. This is what I do in the morning. Didn't take that long at all. 15, 20 minutes, maybe tops. Skin is healthy, moisturized. I'm ready to step outside. My beard is taken care of. Soft and healthy. My hair is soft and healthy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how I get ready for the day. That is my grooming and skincare routine for the morning. Like I said, give or take, it depends on what product I wanna grab for the day. I have options for every step of the way, um, but yeah, give or take, that's pretty much what I do. Wash my face, I use a toner, I use a serum, I use a moisturizer, I use sunscreen. I put moisturizer in my hair, put a pomade in my hair. I wash my beard, put a beard butter in my beard. Then it's out for the day. If that was a help, please drop a comment below, drop a like, drop a subscribe, let me know what you think. If you have any, any thoughts, any product recommendations of yourself, drop them below. And uh, man, I'm just happy to be building this community with y'all. If you stuck around for this whole video, I salute you, I see you, I appreciate you, and uh, I'll be back with more. So until next time, peace.